Hey guys, Sarko Cyclone FPV, and I'm getting ready to put an XM Plus on a Sector 150. So I figured if you guys want to watch this, uh, here's how we're going to do it. So let me just go ahead and uh, give you a picture in picture here. There we go. And I'll try to zoom out here so you can watch a little bit. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, let me get some of this debris out of the way. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the top plate of the Sector 150. All right, and this is going to be very similar to the other ones that we have done. Um, you know, the HDLRC has been really good about putting in the, the wires needed to get this done. And I will remind you that FreeSky does not give you the heat shrink or anything else, so please make sure that you have some heat shrink available. If you need some, we've got some on our website you can purchase from us specifically for the XM Plus size receivers. All right, so getting to this real quickly, let's go ahead and open the XM Plus. Okay. We'll go ahead and take just this part out. And if you'll notice here, the XM Plus, the new ones that are coming out, come with V2.1.X. This means that you do have to upgrade your ISRM or your um, internal RF module, uh, module okay, um, to the 2.1.X uh, version. All right, now we're going to put this aside and give that to the customer. We're going to start by peeling off this sticker right here. I'll just put that on the cube itself. And if you look at the packaging here, if you lay this out the way this picture is, uh, with antennas on the bottom and the button here, you're going to have S-Bus 5 volt and ground. From top to bottom, S-Bus 5 volt and ground. And HDLRC, like I said, has been really cool about putting the wire already on here. So all we need to do right now is we need to just trim these pieces here. Okay, we can throw that out. Let's go ahead and strip these. We're going to get our flux pen. Just find a spot. I'm going to, you know what, I'll probably just turn this plate upside down and I'll just apply the flux right here. Do that. Okay. Like that. Then hold the, hold the um, strands in your finger and twist the silicone part. That way it winds the strands up pretty tight. Let's do that, just the bottom, there we go. All right, now we're gonna tin these. So I'm just gonna put a piece of paper down here to protect the components. And get this to just stand up just a little bit. Like that, there we go. All right, hopefully we won't burn the paper. We'll see. All right, so let's clean the soldering tip. And then let's quickly tin the wiring. that done. I'm going to trim off the excess and when you do trim off the excess make sure to put something underneath to catch these so they don't end up in your motors or anywhere else. So just trim off to you have about a millimeter and a half of wire. All right and then get rid of the pieces there. Okay put that away you won't be cut anymore you won't be stripping any more wire. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply our flux pen across the three pads. And then we're going to get ready to solder these together, okay? So now to do that, I'm just going to, again, use a piece of paper or anything. It really doesn't matter. What we want to do is we want to make sure that it holds still. So actually, we'll bring these back. I guess you could get all kinds of fancy equipment. Trust me, I have it to make this work. But I'm just going to use whatever's laying around here right now. Let me put my old band glasses on, though, because I do need to be able to see. All right. All right. Take the solder. I must tin the pads on the receiver. Okay, there we go. Put the solder aside. Now grab the wires. First wire, we'll start from the top. So we're going to go with S plus. So just lay it on there nicely. Touch it for a second, and you're done. Then we'll go to 5 volt. Again, lay it on, touch it for a second. You're done. And then let's go to ground. Done. And there you have it. That's it. That's all there is to it. We can turn off the soldering iron. Let's go ahead now and just kind of wind this up just a little bit. Okay. Get some heat shrink. Make sure 
cover both ends pretty good, just like that. Bring your heat gun and just get one side, get the other side. Again, and again, and you're done. Okay, so that's that. Turn the heat gun off. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to find a spot to put this, and ideally we're going to find it somewhere in the same vicinity as the PTX. So what we'll do is remove the. They already have a zip tie here, so what I was going to suggest is that we take that zip tie off. Okay, for now we place the receiver somewhere in that same vicinity right there where the zip tie was, just like that. Okay, let's give it some room. There we go. Okay, and then we'll run a new zip tie if I can find one. There we go. Yes, ma'am. Is this tell Princess? Hold on, babe. And then what we'll do is we'll zip tie this here. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. And I don't know if he gave us a box. He did. He actually had a USPS box when he sent it in. So if you want to use the same one, it's up to you. It's right here. Let's just try to lay this down a little bit. And then let's just zip tie this here. And get the antenna wire underneath it if we want to, just like they had it. There we go. Okay. And we're pretty much done. So that's going to hold this in place just fine. Shouldn't be going anywhere at all, really. So we'll cut the uh, zip tie out. Bring the wire in and just kind of wind it up. Just like that. Lay that nicely right there. Take the capacitor back. Just like this. And usually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right on the bottom of that just to give it a little bit of extra hold to the polycarbonate um, uh, piece that they have included. All right, from here, it's kind of anybody's call. I do not like going to this spot here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to feed this. Well, I guess I can put them down there. I just don't like it too much. I think it's kind of a hassle, but hey, you know what? They've got it already done, so. Most of the time, if you see these from me, I would have moved these up to here, but it's okay. So I'm just going to push this wire down, the antenna wire, feed it right up under there. And I like to remove these to make sure I've got the length I need, and then I can put them back on. Send this one down. There you go. Turn it around, come up. There you go. Pull it up as well. And then just come back over with these. And when you put it on, it's going to push the wire down anyway because the kit doesn't have to be not that long. So you can do just like that. Okay. And then you can just make sure the rest of the wire is tucked out of the way. And you're good to go. And there you have it. So that's the XM Plus added. And everything is clear. Good to go. So now all we're going to do is I'm going to unplug the VTX so I can turn this on and make sure without that interrupting our camera feed. I'll plug this in and make sure that everything lights up and it does you can see the receiver blinking back here so we're good to go and that's ready to be uh, bound to whichever radio the gentleman will be using and now we'll put uh, let me see I always get this back so now we'll put the top back on I always put it backwards always just like that let's get those screws Excuse me, thank you. Let's just screw this down. And there 
you go. That's it. Everything's installed. Excellent plus. You get the line button from there, and everything looks good, clean, and tested out. All right. All right, guys. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know. You can always go to our Facebook page right there, our group page. Join it. And uh, you can ask any questions. People there would be happy to help you. Uh, and as always, please, I would encourage you, please, to subscribe to our channel and support us and let my kids see that their dad's still kind of cool. Kinda. All right, guys. Other than that, it is the weekend. So it is Friday, uh, June 18th. I hope you enjoy the weekend. Happy Father's Day to all you guys out there. I hope you are able to spend time with your kids and your family. Uh, make sure to spend as much time as you can. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly later, guys. Other than that, God bless. Be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.